and this is Aunt Sandra's candy factory and it is amazing. They make their own sweets, they make their own chocolate and it's just fantastic. This is Aunt Sandra's homemade or handmade candy chocolate fudge. And this is Aunt Sandra's. I'm inside the shop and there is just an amazing display of sweets. <laughs> sweets that you maybe ate in your youth and never came across again. And I'm just going to sweep around very slowly. Uh, I mean this, this place is amazing. I've been talking to Jim, the owner. He says that there has been a shop of some description on this road or near enough this road uh, for since the 1940s. And here's here's the traditional uh, the traditional sweets: uh, spearmint, mint pearls, sugar almonds, fizzy apple, flying, flying saucers, <laughs> cinnamon lozenges, pink pink bowie, blue bowie, dolly mixtures. Fizzy cola, cola bottle, and uh, Jim tells me that this is one of the few uh, sweet shops in existence in uh, to still manufacture uh, their own their own uh, fudges and uh, sweets, valet drops. Pear drops, lemon sherbets, Turkish delights, fizzy colas, mixed balls, paint pots, Belfast rock, Everton mints, boys all, handmade honeycomb, puff candy gift bags, popcorn. It's all here. Ulster's <laughs> Ulster's Willy Wonka. And there's something for uh, the romantic in you. Come down and by the way, thought she'll be well pleased. Whoops and fluff, flumps. The big Belfast, Belfast bars. All manner of um, edibles, sweetie edibles here for your delight. Not perhaps uh, too good. Fudge and macaroon, macaroon, not too good for the old uh, waistline, mind you, but a wee treat now and again. And this is uh, the location of Aunt Sandra's sweet shop on the Castlereagh Road. So get yourself down there, give yourself a treat.